Gears of War 2. The <laughs> best laid plans. The best laid plans. Is that is that a quote that you don't know how to finish? <sighs> you fucking idiot. You know what? <laughs> so, this is like a, what, ten minute video. We voiced over about seven minutes of it before our John tells me, or Beer Baron tells me, we weren't recording. It was a mistake. It's like I intentionally did it. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh my god. No more whiskey for you. Oh, I love whiskey. Mm. Anyways, so is this the uh, Freudian slip part? We're not there yet. <laughs> you can't repeat that kind of. That was gold. That was improvised, and it's lost. We had improvised gold that you're not gonna hear. This entire thing is improvised, dude. Just do it again. Oh, this one's improvised too. Quit your fucking bitching and. All right, so tell them the strategy. Up. So the strategy is run away like a little fucking pansy. You run into the trap. You realize, oh, fuck, there's no way I'm going to make it through this. There's ten guys above me. Run down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And then all the bad guys just disappear. Pretty easy, actually. You run down the stairs, turn around, and they're gone. Wow, dude, you come up with the laziest strategies. I am very proud of my lazy strategies. Earth. What? Oh, uh, what was it? The first boss... Your Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, my strategy is to hide under this table. Something <laughs> octopus. I, yeah. I, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing anything. I hit under the table. I, there's like, you know, it's like squirting ink at cabin. you. And... What? Didn't it like squirt ink? Because it was an octopus? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, squirt, it squirted ink, and there was a whole bunch of other enemies running around, and all you had to do was there lay under the table. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was run away right there. Now there's a bunch of tickers running around the feet of this blood mount. That's their name, blood mount. Not night dog. riders, not <laughs> demon dogs, not. It's not a David Hasselhoff night rider. It's not a David David Hasselhoff. No. Okay. They are blood mounts. Oh, you know what you get out of looking like a fucking retard for thinking hind legs are front legs. Oh yes, I do. Jackpot. <laughs> Jackpot. Beer Baron thought hind legs were the front legs. Yeah. Well, you know what. Now you look like the jackass for thinking yeah, about well, yeah, well, suck it. Suck it, Trebuck. There's going to be a couple more guys coming up the locust lift. <laughs> Does it not work for humans? It's a locust lift only. It was built by the locusts, therefore it is a locust lift. And elevators are called human vaders. <laughs> or human lifts. Lifts, dude. Petrol is called gasoline. <laughs> That's a Simpsons. I learned that from the Simpsons. When Petrol is called gasoline? Yeah. And li elevators are called lifts. And in the future, they have seven winged bi biplanes. <laughs> exactly. Hugh and Grant. Humans, humans can't, or humans can't feel love. Robots can't feel love, and when they do, they explode <laughs> and melt. Exactly. Fucking Cylons. Silence. Oh! So the other thing we were talking about before we blew the recording last time. Uh huh. Because you love to blow things hard. <sighs> Anyways, Yu-Gi-Oh! terrible tragedy Yu -Gi -Oh! the massive blew playoffs at one up. the video game industry hard. Go to the upper path. Judging upper path is much outside, easier. I think this place goes down three levels. Just think about it. No. You want to okay. be on the high ground. It, oh, we're going to talk about oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, they... Where do they get their money? UGO? I've been to their website once. I've heard of them just recently. They're owned by some and other company. Somehow they're buying owns... out the greatest video game magazine ever created by man. EGM. You've been subscribing to EGM for how long? Since since Sub Zero was shitting mustard. <laughs> since like the first Mortal Kombat, man. First Mortal Kombat. <laughs> When, when Sub Zero was ripping your head and your spine off and letting it dangle, and you had to <laughs> get a double flawless victory without using block, on up down the pit. up down A B A B. No 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 no, no. <laughs> on, on, the on the pit, and there was something else. Double flawless victory without using punch and without getting hit, obviously for double flawless victory on the pit. And you got and, to be and uh, getting reptile. a fatality, and you got to fight reptile in the bottom in the of bottom the bottom. Oh, and you could turn invisible. Goddamn reptile! So it's my favorite video game magazine. Yeah. I I 
I tried them all out. Nintendo Power, whatever. You know, they're all biased as shit. I had Nintendo Power for a while. Fuck I was a big you. Nintendo fanboy no. when I was a little kid. And then EGM was an unbiased. They had, you know, great writers. Um, mm -hmm. Their rumor section, the rumor mill, mm. was awesome before the internet got big. Before, you know, the... Kotaku posts every yeah. random email that comes their way. Exactly. Even shit that's not going to come true. Oh, that's like, uh, Miyamoto has cancer. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's terrible. Uh, the apologize. Wii is going to make a good game. Oh, the that's, Wii. <laughs> that's not true. The Wii comes out with something besides a mini game collection. Oh, yeah. no, nope, not going to Not happen. a carnival collection. Or no. Cooking Mama 3. Cooking Mama Anyways, so our favorite one-up podcasts, video oh, casts yeah. are gone. You know, it's they fired the entire team of guys that did all those podcasts. And these guys are brilliant, insightful, funny, funny. well-educated. Yeah, know what they're talking their about. Enjoy their jobs. Yeah, have a lot of enthusiasm for their jobs. And it's like, that is the cutting edge of media. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it's—I want to say it's the Hearst com Corporation that owns UGO. I could be completely off on that. But it's basically the equivalent of like News Corp, oh. owning like 50 different. Yeah, it's like they own you know, like MySpace news, and yeah, uh, like News, news Corp does. newspapers oh. and other magazines and all and a whole bunch of websites. They got dollars. They got dollars. <laughs> they got the bling. They got the bling. And people are and, hurting in this recession. Oh yeah, definitely. But, but they're tied to their old ways, and they don't understand the importance of video mm -hmm. and podcasts and the kind of nonsense that we do. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I feel like recessions, you know, kind of cut the fat. They do. Usually you see the crabby companies that don't work. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Fall and maybe EGM had bad management and that's why it no, fell. They did. But you know these guys who are working for them mm -hmm. are gonna survive this. Because oh, they'll get another job somewhere. Yeah, they're... I'm not worried about that. But they, and you feel bad. Like sometimes you feel bad that you know print media is going out of business. But really, no, I don't. I haven't people, read a newspaper. Yeah, I mean, except for the onion. People are making money in different ways. It's not like you know people are screwed. Oh, no. It's just, it's, you know, the landscape's changing, and making a, hosting a website costs a fraction mm -hmm. of print. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, you know, it's fast-forwarding the transformation from uh, print media to internet. It's an exciting time to be alive. Good thing we're except on the Except the problem huh? is, ex <laughs> yeah. Except, except the people, the managers of UGO don't realize that it's the personalities behind EGM right. that makes it what it is. Mm -hmm. That made it what it is. Yeah, like uh, was it Sean Edwards and like Dan Chu and yep. Crispin Boyer. Crispin I mean, Boyer. they've all moved on. Yeah. Like, I mean, those, uh, those are some old names. I think they're like thumbs block. producing. If games. anybody doesn't read that, it's uh, Crispin and Shoes. Oh, really? Yeah, they do a lot of uh, posts and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the least strategy we've given so I don't far. I've said a single word about it. Oh, uh, you I said run like a little bitch. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh. Fuck you. So, uh, anything strategy-wise? Oh, strategy. So you want to headshot bitches in the face. Yes, you move the reticle with the right stick. Stay behind the doors here. Dude, you never make the <laughs> tips touch. <laughs> uh, we're making hand gestures similar to... The hand gestures all you kids watching us make every night. Anyway, <laughs> because you're so, 13. Oh stay, man, stay behind the doorway 13 here. 13 year olds and, and finding easier. out about masturbation. 
You can stay behind. Uh, you can snipe everyone from far away. Dude, every kid watching this is an avid masturbator. <laughs> <laughs> just think of our like. Really just think of our target audience. It's man. Just that you think about that. I don't think about 